morning guys. Early morning here with the Citroen C4 Casso to get this all set up. We're gonna be, be replacing the clutch, dual mass flywheel. Right. We're gonna go over there and show you what we need to deal with. Cool. Right, I always like to begin by removing all the electrical, the batteries and stuff because we have to touch the starter motor. We're going to remove all of this. That would expose all of the bolts on the transmission this side. Remove all of those bolts and then move on underneath. What we're planning to do is to letterbox this because we have a subframe here. So we're just going to drop the subframe slightly, move the gearbox to the side. That should give us enough space to remove the clutch and the dual mass flywheel. We'll get cracking. We're going to remove all of that stuff. Everything is free. You can see right there, the gear linkage is off. And there is a T25 up top that I have to remove so I can completely lift it up. I'm gonna see if there is any slack on those. If I don't have to remove it, then I won't remove it so I can just easily let it box it. Right, the bolts here, I'm going to remove after we've brought the gearbox down because I think it'll be easier to target it from the side. Apart from that, there is nothing else really. We are gonna move down below now. <laughs> my lord that is a nightmare okay so we managed to remove the the battery tray the battery the ecu blah, 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 all of that stuff but check this out the locking wheel nut the state of it look at the state of that it's supposed to have notches like this in this case it's just non-existent moving on over to the other side this one is fine as you can see the butterfly nut with the notches is still there and you can actually you can actually just about see the notches on it where this would fit so we have to put things back together now all of that stuff we'll come back here some other day once he's gone to a workshop put weld it well weld on it and yeah all right okay so now we are making our way back to the golf gti that we did last week to replace his rear brake pants and discs we've actually got a tool now to remove that stubborn bolt showing here we'll be there in five minutes unfortunately that previous job clutch job that we were about to do the actual locking it actually came off of the actual Itself, so there's nothing that I can do. The only fix would be to take it to a welder so they can weld the nut on there, uh, take it out that way. The customer said once obviously he's had it done, he'll give us a call. Customer was really nice actually, but anyway, also the Golf GTI. So see you in a minute. We're back here again on the Golf GTI to complete the job that we didn't do last week because we didn't have the right tool to remove the, uh, the bolt for the rear. We're going to complete it. We'll show you a time lapse as well of how we do it. Cool. Caliper back on, talk to spec. And that is your brake pads and this done for a Volkswagen Golf GTI. <laughs> Right, we're all making our way home, all done for the day. We're gonna wait for the phone call from the uh, Citroen guy for when we can complete the club. Golf GTI is all sorted as well. And then we had to do a check on a customer's Cambo that we did recently. But she was getting a mess for five days, was just a loose connection on the on the HTV. And yeah, that's all done now. We're making our way home. We're back in the office. Thank you very much guys for watching. I know it's a bit short today. But uh, tomorrow we actually have a clutch on a Citroen relay, so I might post a tutorial on that, maybe. It just depends on how good the weather is. Thank you very much for watching. On, I'll catch you on the next one. Please like and subscribe and share as well if you can. That will help me grow a lot. Thank you very much. Cheers and peace.
really bad noise, so... Tommy!